Hello everyone, welcome to our Wellness Wednesday live here on Planet Wellness. If you're watching live, please say hello in the comments below. And if you're watching on the replay, it's hashtag replay. Now, if you're watching on the replay on YouTube as well, please give this video a like and also share it with your friends so that we can help reach a wider audience. So today we've got something um, which is going to be very popular, especially this time of year towards October. If you're in countries like in Europe, and UK. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people do buy this vegetable in this uh, season. So I'll hand it over to Ronald. Yes, good afternoon everyone. Um, the What I'm going to talk to you about is, is something that's very much underrated. Um, you know, when you talk about like pumpkin, often people think about pumpkin as like the Halloween time. But you know, we don't believe in wasting a pumpkin on Halloween because it's not worth it, right? You, what you need to do is understand the value of that pumpkin and cutting it up and putting candles into it for Halloween is just a waste of time, right? However, so I'm going to give you some very important comments why you should have pumpkin for you and your family regularly, okay? All year round. All year round. All year round you should have some sort of – you should have pumpkin maybe two or three times a week. It's that important. Now, why is it important? Now, I'm going to show you one of the pumpkins we've got right here that we have a look at it. Have a look at the size of it. Right, that's about uh, it's about eight inches, uh, seven or eight inches wide, and you can see there it's about six inches, five to six inches um, in thickness. You know, okay. This is quite a small one, yeah, actually. That's, that's a small pumpkin. See that? See that? See that's the stem. That's where this. That's where it came from. And in the back here is the base of it. So when you cut that, you'll notice there's there's uh, there's lines here, in there like that. And these lines are designed for you to put the knife in. For example, in this line here, and this one, and here. These where you put the knife in, and you cut through. You see that's that makes it safer. It makes it safe. You can see the lines quite clearly in this picture there. Okay. So those lines here. Is uh is the way where you insert the knife here and you push it down and cut it? Okay, now this pumpkin is a very unusually rare one because normally you get the the more what they call a squash, right? Which is like a butternut squash. So this also quite a good one. Now in Australia we call it pumpkin. Squash is something else, right? Now why is the pumpkin so effective? First of all, the pumpkin is got enormous amount of beta carotene right now beta carotene is a very essential component of eye health right now the whole high you've got the cornea you've got the iris you've got the sclera you've got the macula at the back they all benefit from feeding pumpkin to your body so that the pumpkin of beta carotene in this pumpkin goes to your eyes beta carotene is so important for vision and the more the older you get the more you've got to treat your eyes even more preciously right now people just don't appreciate how important their eyes are right and of course if you wear glasses by eating beta carotene and blueberries and so on and taking the right supplement there's a very strong chance you can recover from poor vision Okay, for example, in my case, my dad wore glasses at 42. I was able, because of my intense nutritional knowledge, I was able to push wearing glasses till 50. But at 50, I do remember, I had to, um, to go to America eight times in two years to learn what caused eye malfunction. Okay, and while I was there, we, I met up with a lot of top scientists, <coughs> excuse me, top scientists in Utah, in California, and they taught me exactly the value of beta carotene, the value of blueberries and so on for the eyes to be healthy. Now, pumpkin is part of a big family. You've got pumpkin, you've got this sort of pumpkin I showed before. You've got the queen, the famous Queensland blue, which is massive. It's about it's about probably a foot and a half wide and and thickness is about probably six inches. That's a, called a Queensland blue. It's one of the most popular pumpkins in Australia. It's grown, it's grown in Queensland. That's what's called Queensland blue. The white's called blue. Inside is the orange beta carotene color, but the outside is a lovely gray, gray blue color. 
right? It's unique to Queensland. And people use it to make pies, pumpkin pies, pumpkin mash uh, with potato. And But here you also got quite a good range. If you go to the farm shops, they'll give you the, the better quality and better variety of, of, uh, of uh, pumpkin because there's about eight or nine different types, right? But I do miss my Queensland blue from Queensland because that's one of the most uh, rich in beef carotene and also great in taste, right? Now, why additionally are, is pumpkin so effective? Number one, the beta carotene. Number two is the fiber content. The, 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 when you eat a pumpkin, like a fair amount of pumpkin, you will get quite a bit, about probably up to eight or 10 grams of fiber. And you've heard me go on and on about the, the need for fiber uh, because the human body, I've proven that over 40, 50 years, needs 38 grams of fiber every single day for it to flush the waste out of your body. Remember this. When you eat anything, be it meat, fish, chicken, eggs, pumpkin, whatever, there's always a waste residue, always. So it's very important that even though you eat the meat, the fish, the chicken, whatever, the pumpkin, the vegetables, the kale, whatever, it's important to note that you must put enough fiber in your body to drive the waste that from this food. When the waste breaks down, is always when the food breaks down, there's always waste residue. And that waste residue should end up in your ascending colon, and then it ascends, transverses, descends in the sigmoid and out. You must do that every day, at least once, sometimes twice a day. Now, pumpkin is very effective because of the high amount of fiber in the pumpkin. Now, I've seen uh, mothers in Australia get very smart where they cut the pumpkin up, right, and they cook the inside, which is the which is the gold color, bright orange, it's an orange, gold orange color, and then the skin is washed before that, and guess what they do with the skin? They bake it. They bake it in spelt flour and olive oil, and it becomes like chips. So, and that adds another lot of fiber because you got the fiber from this inside the the tissue and the flesh of the pumpkin, but then you've got the fiber from the fiber from the skin as well. But with that one, you've got to steam it, and then it's still soft. Then you can then you can wrap it and um, roll it in uh, spelt fiber. You can even put it in filo pastry. And make little snacks out of it, like chips, right? So that's so you got a beta carotene, you've got the um, the beta carotene, uh, the, the the flavor of it, and the the activity in the eyes. You've got the fiber, you've got potassium, you love some amount of calcium, you love vitamin K, right? Because it's been in the sun. You love vitamin D as well. You'll also have a, a large amount of what are called carotenoids which are the same family as the carrots because of the orange. Carotenoids are antioxidants, which help to fight free radicals, which attack us all the time to make us age, right? Now, so I'm going to give you a recipe, a fantastic recipe. You'll love it, right? I always do a really good recipe, and that is what you do, you get about half a pumpkin, like for two people, half a pumpkin that big. Remember, this is about six inches to eight inches wide and about four inches uh, uh, thick, right? Now, you, you would use half of that and then use the next one the next day. And then you what you do, you, you take the skin off it and then you chop it up into pieces and, you, and you'll, have, you'll have about probably two or three cups of cut up uh, flesh of the pumpkin. Then you, you put that into a steamer. You steam it until it's soft, not too soft, just soft enough to still crunchy. Then guess what you do with it? You put you also steam some Pontiac red potatoes and one good size sweet potato. So you've got the pumpkin, the Pontiac red potato, the sweet potato. You you blend all that so you've got you've got all steamed up and you must keep the skin. You must keep the skin on the sweet potato and you must skin the skin, you might keep the skin on the potato. Pontiac potato. On the, on, the, on the red potato, Pontiac, right? But you don't have to add the skin on the pumpkin because it's tough. You keep that for separate. So you've got all those three in, the, in, in three factors. You steam them all up and then you, you get a masher. You can use it by hand. Put it into like a Pyrex jar. You mash it all up. 
like in other words, you make a mash, like a potato mash, right? But you mash it together, right? And then guess what you do with it? You put amazing flavor to it and nutrition. You add one tablespoon of Bragg's apple cider vinegar, put that in, two or three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in an amber bottle, put that in, two or three tablespoons, put that in, one or two teaspoons of sel de Guerande, which is the salt, the salt we talk about from France, with sel de Guerande, and then we put some chili, fresh chili, like we grow it here, cut up about the chili that big, cut up small pieces, but if you don't want the chili, that's fine. And then guess what else you put? You put some mayonnaise, some egg mayonnaise. Put it all in. Guess what else you add to it? Some cumin, some turmeric, and some small amount of curry powder. You mash that all up until it becomes creamy, right? Now, you can say then I've served a fish or lamb or turkey, and you put this mash on top of it on top of it, right? And that keeps it nice and warm. Now, as you cut through it, you're having a mouthful of lamb or fish, and then you're having this combination mash, right? It is absolutely delicious. If you want an additional flavor for your eyes, you can also add to that mash, so you love your fish, say, or your turkey, then you've got that combination mash of pumpkin, um, the sweet, sweet potato. potato and the and the Pontiac, oh. you love that on top with all that mixture. Guess what else you put on top? You put about two or three cups of spinach on the top. And guess what else you can do? You can put a boiled egg, soft boiled egg, four minutes, 45 seconds on top of that. It becomes like an egg Florentine with mash. You've got a fantastic meal there and that's gonna help you with your eyes, with your muscle, with your sleep, and with your, with your fiber and so on and so on and so on. Great tip, isn't it? So if you want to know more about the actual ingredients in that formula, write to us or, or, or send us an email and we'll give you the information. Okay, thank you very much. That sounded really delicious. Ronald. Yeah. I'm going to try it shortly. Yeah. Yes, we're going to try this afternoon. Yes, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you've got any comments, please uh, type in comments below and we'll um, happily answer them as we go along, as yes. we receive them. Yes. And just to let you know as well, we've got our diabetes course coming out very soon. So mm. look out for that as well. I'll post that in the um, when it's available. It's going to be probably yep. a couple of weeks at yes. maximum. It'll be yes. out. Yes. So look out for that as well. Anything yes. else you'd like to add? Robert? Yeah. It's, uh, look, Petrina's raised a good point. Um, Look, I, I, for the last 40, 50 years, I've come across so many people, so many people who suffer from diabetes, from Australia, from New Zealand, from uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Africa, China, Africa, Europe. The, the amount of people with diabetes is scary, right? It, it, and the diabetes is getting worse and worse and worse because people are eating more and more junk food and more and more sweet type foods. And there are so many people who, who are either diabetic, type one or type two, or they're pre-diabetic, which means that at any minute they could just tip into diabetes like that. So I spent three months, night after night, day after day, writing up a fantastic course on how to treat diabetes type one and type two. It will be well, if, you, if you've got diabetes or you're pre-diabetic, or you know someone with diabetes in your family, recommend this course. Very well priced. You'll have an enormous amount of information in it, and you'll be able to use the information in that to treat your diabetes and reverse your diabetes in a very short time. As much as six to eight weeks, it'll be reversed. Okay, okay. so and, enjoy that. And also, if yeah. you would like to read more about pumpkin, we've actually released a blog as well recently on our planetwellness.co.uk website. Yes, I will look up and share the link in the comments below as well. So do do read up on that. Yeah. All right. Till next week. Take care and have a great Wednesday. Bye bye. Bye.